Diana Minerva and I'm here with you today to share with you the sew along for this birdie pattern 6233. And as you can see it's a long sleeve shirt or t-shirt depending on what kind of fabric you make it in. And today we're going to be using this super soft viscose jersey knit. So this is ideal for this sort of top. Now I'm going to be using this black colourway, but should you wish it also comes in a lovely vibrant orange, so you could choose that one if you prefer. So this fabric has a 70% stretch width and a 35% stretch length. It's 145 centimetres wide and it's got lots of give, so you will find that if you want something nice and comfy and cosy to be wearing, maybe for lounging around in, or maybe for your holidays, this is going to be a super item for your wardrobe. Now, if you want to sew along with me, everything that I use today will be linked in a bundle below. So you will get, if you click on the link, the bird pattern, this fabric in the colourway of your choosing, so black or orange, you will receive some interfacing, a matching thread, some jersey needles, and all of that will be linked in the bundle below should you wish to make it exactly the same way I'm doing today. Now, on this pattern there are two variations. So you can make it with a straight bottom hem on the sleeve and a straight hem at the bottom with two side vents. Or, as I'm doing today, you can make it with this cuff feature. Now, as you can see, the sleeves don't come all the way down, they're sort of here on the arm. And this one here, A version, has a nice curved hem, so we're going to be making that today. Also, here at Minerva, we would love it if you join the Minerva Craft Club. When you join the Minerva Craft Club, you will get 10% off all your orders for a whole year. And that includes anything that you buy from us today. So that's a really good deal. Also, why not go ahead and create a free account? When you create a free account, you can save all your ideas and projects in one place. Save notions, fabrics, uh, videos such as this one to come back to later. And just share all your ideas with like-minded sewers from all over the world and gain inspiration. It's a really good place to meet and chat. And share your sewing hobby. So why not go ahead and do that now? Now if you're ready to begin we're going to go ahead and cut our pattern pieces in a moment. First of all you want to check your pattern. So remember we are making version A. You want to check the back of your pattern for your measurement sizes. So get a tape measure and measure yourself and don't just rely on your standard dress size. You want to measure your bust, waist and hips and check that it matches the correct size on the back of the pack. Also in the bird patterns, there is a further size guide inside on the pattern sheet, so you can check your measurements there as well. Now we're ready to begin, we're going to go and cut our pattern pieces now. So here we have our pattern pieces. So this is the back for versions A and B. So you cut one on the fold, this is your fold line and straight grain. So depending on which version you're doing, you cut the neck. Here, look, I've cut it, but then I've reattached it. So depending on what version you're doing, you might want to do this also for next time. So we're making version A. So this is your back neck line here. Make a note of these small circles. And you can lengthen or shorten here where these marks are. So depending on how you do that, you might want to cut your paper pieces again shorten them or you may just want to fold this piece up if you're shortening it and I've done that sometimes when I'm making things a little bit shorter and we've got the curved hem here for version A so cut one on the fold here we have your front piece so this is the neckline for A Again, you're going to cut one on the fold. This is your fold line. 
this is where your waist will lie on this pattern again lengthen or shorten here mark the notches here and the small circles again we have this curved hemline here we have your sleeve so you're going to cut two of the sleeve this is the straight grain of the fabric here is your marking to lengthen or shorten make a note of this notch here and also this notch here and these small circles this here is where you will gather now these pieces You're going to cut two and this is your fold line so these are for the bottoms of your sleeves here so you're going to gather this into this bottom sort of cuff and this folds like this so you're going to cut two of this one and here is your fold line that goes with your sleeve and then you're going to cut this one this is your fold line for it here, but you're going to cut this on the fold. So this is the band for your neck. Now, if you have opted to make the other version of the shirt, your neckline is slightly different. So this is why we include interfacing in the pattern. So your first job is you want to make sure you've put half of your thread on your spool and change to a jersey needle so that we're all ready to begin. So take your neck band piece and we're going to join the ends. So we cut this on the fold. Just take my pins out. And you're going to bring your right sides together. So if you fold it over, like this, and you bring those edges together, and then we're going to do a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance down this part here. And just back tack a little. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold this. So open up that seam and you can press that flat. And it's going to be folded lengthways like this. Now you're going to take your front piece and your back piece and you're going to lay them on top of each other. So we're going to join those shoulder seams together at each side and you can add a pin to stop them moving around. Now this fabric doesn't really fray, so it's entirely up to you whether you edge your raw edges or not. But as I said, it doesn't fray, so you can leave them as they are. So now we're going to join those shoulder seams with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Back tack when you begin. Try not to pull on the fabric as you go, just let it lie. On itself just guide it through back tag again when you reach the other side one side to keep a firm hold on this fabric as I said it's got a lot of stretch and a lot of give so just be careful with your handling now when you have your shoulders attached what I always like to do is if you pull it in half so that your shoulder seams meet, so bring those together and then find 
the very front and the very back centre. So you're going to make a little notch there. So that's one side to so bring them together again. Find the centre, it's a little notch. So when you're adding your neckband now, you know that you've got the front and the back of your neckband. So here where you joined it, this is going to go to the centre of the back. So again, do the same with this, fold it. There we are, very slippy. And then this is halfway, so I'm going to notch it there and on the other side as well. Look, it's uh, folding in on itself, so you will want to be careful of that. I'm going to notch it there as well. And then we can use those notches to make sure that we've got it even when we're attaching it now. And that's what we're going to do next. So you're going to take your top. And you're going to find your front. So if you look at it, it's higher at the back. There is my mark for the centre back. I'm just going to pop that under there so it doesn't move around. Here is my fold. I'm going to open that up. As I said, you can press it if you want, but this fabric doesn't really crease very much at all. So there's my fold, so now I've got wrong sides together, and the right sides are on the outside. I'm going to bring this to my notch at the back, place it under, now you can pin it there. See? And then I'm going to fold it again and I'm going to find the centre at the front. So here is my marking for the centre front. So one on the band and one on the front piece. Bring that together. Again, you're going to pin that. I'm going to pin it from that side because that's the side I'm going to be sewing on. And then you're going to even it out and pin it all the way around. Now you will want to stretch it a little bit to the band. Now when you have it pinned the whole way around, you're going to change to a narrow zigzag stitch and this is so it's still got some give in it as it's going around the neck, so quite narrow, not too much. So look at your stitch width, I'm going to just try one, yeah one's plenty, so 1.5 centimetres in allowance. And just you only need to stretch it a little bit because it's quite bouncy fabric. Take your pins out as you go, and I'm doing this from the top side so that I can see my band and that I'm keeping that band width even. Just make sure that your top underneath is not moving around. If you've pinned it well, it won't do. point when you stitch the neckband on you can trim off the excess and neaten or you can leave it raw it's up to you then you want to press it down so that your band is facing upwards like this you could also top stitch it down there if you wish now I am just stitching down that inner piece of the neckband because I just think, feel it'll give a neater fit so I'm just stitching it a couple of millimetres away from the upturned band just to keep it in place. Now if you open up your top, so you've got your back and your front and your shoulder here. So here is the front and here is the notch in the armhole here. And here is my sleeve, so I want right sides facing right side. Here is my notch there. I'm going to put those together. 
and pin them. That's one. And then you have your notch here for the shoulder. And you're going to open up that seam there. And you're going to pin it there as well. Make sure that seam's open and lying flat. And then pin it all the way around your sleeve. And once you've pinned your sleeve with a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance, you're going to stitch that. Keeping it even as you go. Then you're going to flip the garment over and do the same on the other side. So I found your notch again, and it's to the armhole. Find the one for the shoulder. Match those. And stitch it the whole way around. And when you've stitched in your sleeve, you're going to fold it in half going to bring your underarm seams together and pin it there and your side seam together. Now if you did like I did and where your little marking was for A at the bottom of the curve, I've just did a little notch, you could have done a choke mark or maybe put a pin there. We're going to stitch from here because this is going to be where we hem, that curved hem there. So we're going to stitch from here all the way up to the underarm and then down the sleeve. So 1.5 centimetre seam allowance again. Back tack to begin. Next you're going to take your sleeve band Fold it in half, right sides facing, and join those edges together. Got one a bit folded there, just be careful. It's a very smooth, slippery fabric. So you're going to do this on both of your sleeve pieces. And you're going to open up that seam and fold it in half again like you did with the neck band. So that wrong sides are together. Like this. You may want to pin those seams together. And do the same on the other one. Right, now you take your sleeve band, which is folded in half, and your sleeve, and you're going to match that seam. You're going to put it over the top, so I've got it right sides facing. So if you slide that over the top, your sleeve poking through. So you have seam here that you open out and your seam on the band and you can now take that pin place it there now you're going to stitch this all the way around but you need to pull on your sleeve band and this is going to gather in the sleeve pieces. Now you're going to need to pull on it quite a lot because you've got all that sleeve to fit in there. Now as I did before you can make a halfway mark on your sleeve to help you and make sure you get those gathers even and you could also do the same thing again on your sleeve band to make sure that you don't end up with more gathers on one side than you do on the other. So now if you place that under your machine, your 
band is on the bottom you want to be pulling on that so start from that side seam and you want to stitch this with a narrow zigzag stitch again to allow for that stretch So this is just going to gather in as you go. So you're pulling on this a little bit and you're letting that gather a little bit. And then you can match your side notch that you've just made with the notch that you made on the sleeve piece here. So when you turn it over it looks look like this, you have a few sort of gentle gathers into that band at the bottom and repeat that on the other side. Now your final job, you're going to want to hem your top. So if you're doing the curved one, you may want to gently ease this as you go. Now you may want to press it first, it's up to you. Just go slowly down that curve. So when you get to the other side of your hem, you'll find that you can turn at this point here, open up your seam flat, go across, turn, and then carry on down the other side. Now you might want to overlock, I've chosen not to today. Some people find that makes it easier for them. Well I hope you enjoyed sewing along with me today and I think you'll agree that that would be a great make for your summer holidays. I think it would look brilliant with a little skirt or some shorts and if you did them in the same fabric it would look like a dress as well. So lots of options there. I also like this version where you have the contrasting sleeves and body. I think that one looks really cute. So whatever you decide to make I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, all the products I've used today will be linked in a bundle below. So all you have to do is click on the link and you'll have everything you need. Remember to like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week. Have you sewn this pattern before? We'd love to hear from you and we always love to see what you've been making. Also, if you have any questions, remember to pop those in the comments below and we'll do our best to help you in any way we can. Well that's all for today and I hope to be back with another sew along really soon. Bye for now.